Hey there, welcome back. Uh, new year means new tools and today I'm going to review a brand new tool which came out just a few weeks ago called Draftium. We have specific proposition for designers and let's say marketing people, which, you know, we're not aiming to be, let's say, a clone of Envision, nor are we going to try to be like a clone of Actual, which is good, meaning we're going to attract different people and maybe appeal more to junior designers or let's say, you know, other craftsmen like marketing people, product managers, whoever would want to easily prototype within minutes. Just from my own experience, I think it has some unique ways which can fit in, let's say, in my professional life, let's say, or, you know, my tasks and processes, because uh, the more advanced and the more experienced you are in your life, you know, the easier it is to use tools like, let's say, actual, which is muscle tool. But there's always a need for tools which you can just, you know, plug in right away, access through web and kind of like prototype, let's say, after ideations or design sprints. So this is Drafting. Right? As you can see, I created a couple of prototypes just to test things out. I was trying their templates, their blocks. If I would just go and create new, you're gonna get the gist of it really quick, I think, because you have a selection of templates. Now, the templates are really rich and there are quite a few of them. Some of them are free, some of them are pro. You have a lot of different options, which I think might be a little bit overwhelming for some people, but perhaps, let's say for someone who is not into UX or marketing person or junior, this might be actually helpful. You could perhaps even search by the keyword for, let's say, a template for e-commerce or something like that. Let's say I would search for something like, let's say, shop or something like that. And as you can see, it already suggests different templates. And the templates, as you can see, are a wireframe in which you can then, you know, upsell to, let's say, your clients, stakeholders, get their buy-in and then take into actual design phase. So that's the thing where the tool slots in in the processes. It, again, it really depends on, you know, unique use cases. But if we, let's say, jump in into one of them, I like to kind of learn and explore as I do things, as I think some of you as well. And as you can see, the pages, what you see is what you get. So we have this template with different blocks in it, different areas, and everything is editable. Meaning if I want to change this one to something like, I can just do that really quick. I can change where, let's say the button would go to or what behavior it has. I can say, and then I could just open the pre-created page or jump to an area or do some other action, which is predefined. And as you can see, user is able to just select one of the things and all the actions are kind of baked in. So let's say scroll to block and I can just select one of the blocks or just, you know, select block visually in that selector and then it's done. And let's say if I would preview our prototype it would just animate down into that specific area. Everything else is editable as well. So let's say you can add new blocks, which opens a new panel for different templates for blocks, uh, which I kind of like because let's say if you want to craft your prototypes from scratch, you can just go here and based on your interest or what you want to achieve, you can just select one of the areas um, let's pick something like features or screen footer. And as you can see, every single block component here is based on, let's say, best practices, interesting examples on the web trends, something like, let's see, this results in numbers. It's quite an interesting component. I'm just going to add it for the sake of it. Now you could, let's say, change the background into, let's say, colored or an image. And as you can see, we have integrations with, let's say, Unsplash. So it's quite easy to just apply different images. And here we have our free selections. You can select everything, you can add extra items to the thing. I was looking for, let's say, something which would allow me to prototype e-learning or marketing platforms, like projects I'm currently busy with. And so I was trying to add different pages and see, you know, how courses could look like. And that took me just five minutes to go from nothing to a prototype I can actually show to stakeholders. It would take me much more to just fiddle and sketch and actual envision and then show. And it's probably because I would get bogged down on details. And tools like that I think are powerful because they allow you to just quickly drop in blocks 
on you know on on kind of like on you know, a website template and then just publish and show it to people you can always preview and publish your prototype it gives you a link you can also let's say allow commenting on a prototype you can just copy a link and preview let's see a new tab let's see how it looks like boom so you can see the editing mode is not present but everything else is here as well as the add comment now if i just go down that button works all the other things are not specified but let's say the forms and everything else are functional by default we have a basic validation and if let's say if you have the correct information and here you know they have implemented different um, alerts and everything else to make it much more functional so every block seem to do to pack some more functionality than you would expect additional thing what i liked is that you know as i said you can edit everything so let's say the main menu let's say you can adjust not just a copy or what goes after what element but also you know the styles let's say if we would adjust our font size we can actually see exactly how it would look like the lettering spacing and all those different small bits you can just choose from so many different kind of predefined templates or just create from you know from scratch i can see myself either editing or creating from scratch most of the time but probably creating from scratch mostly and i can see myself let's say doing some sort of design sprint with stakeholders and you know you have maybe two three four five days to come up with some sort of ideas at least on a really high level and i think this is the tool i would use for that because as you can imagine as a facilitator and a lead designer i would be busy with not only running the workshops and taking notes and post-its and just handling everything but also i would need in the end of that design sprint to show something and it could be just you know hand-drawn things or it could be something like this which you can do on a lunch break and just put the outcomes together like a wireframes or even a clickable prototype you can just send it to people and allow it to comment so i think this would be really effective for myself now this is all really good and why draft team is a good tool now some of the things which i think they could improve on um i like that we have so many templates and like it, we are quite niche and specific by keywords, so you can find what you're looking for. Let's say what's more typical for your case, but it's also it's quite hard to choose from. It might be a bit too overwhelming for some people, or for some it might be you know better. But I think maybe just finding the template you're looking for could be a bit more uh, streamlined and a bit more easier. The next bit which I would like them to improve on is the actual publishing and preview of prototypes. I would like it to publish the prototype and maybe allow it to one download it. Uh, to add color to it so it's almost like you know the, the, let's say the client or your user doesn't have to necessarily know that this is uh, a prototype if you tell them it's a prototype they're gonna know it's a prototype so it doesn't have to be black and white it doesn't have to be restrictive or you know kind of put under drafting.com URL perhaps including domain names custom domains and things of that nature would actually you know improve it as well as adding passwords maybe user testing kind of functionality or something to support user testing recording of a screen of all those different bits which you would expect from prototyping tool nowadays anyways so these are the key points i would improve on so these are just a few things what i would improve this tool on However, I was really impressed of the capability. I didn't really expect it to be that flexible and that advanced. You can't really tell it from, let's say, a marketing website of what the tool is gonna be like before you try it out. So I would recommend to just create a free account and try it out yourselves. I also have a code for a discount for a pro version if you would like to do so. It's gonna be in the description down below. I think I would give this tool around eight stars out of 10 and purely from the relative perspective of where I would use that tool myself and what the tool can do today and knowing that it's in beta, what it could do in the future. 
if you would like to give it a go please do so leave a comment down below if you like this tool if you are skeptical about this tool give it a like share with your friends and i hope you find this review interesting and helpful stay tuned for more videos and see you next time